Ok, en fait, le magnet. Mag... Magnet. 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 the magnetic stand and uh, last year I visited the stand and I got one of these. Um, it's a little magnet that is for trapping your flies on your waistcoat but I use it for all manner of different things now. It's never far away from a fly tying vice. It's a great thing for holding hooks before you start, start tying. So where have we gone from there? This is Darren, one of the founders of the company and he's going to explain now where we've gone. Okay, so initially we started with what we call the Mag Mini original. From there, everything has been sort of altered by a request from our customers. So rather than what we think people want, it's been more what's been requested. So the next release was the Stealth, which has got a more of a dull hub in the centre to reduce flare, and then a black carabiner. smaller versions of some which we call Mag Minimals. Um, people only wanted to thought that one was quite heavy so we've done it in you know, half sizes. And then the most really recent release has been the Mag Micro, which we've done this in three different colours. Again, we was having requests for a smaller one, people who wanted something additional to have with what they've already got onto packs and whatnot. So there's that one. And that, with, with that we've actually done an extra plate that can work with hats which we had some requests to be able to put it on. That's quite a good idea that I've seen that actually before. Yeah. Oh that's really clever. Yeah. You pop on your heart, yeah. change flies. Yeah, so we've, what we've done there is we've done two plates. Um, we're quite happy to either sell that separately or if you request it we'll just swap it for the original one. So yeah. we're just trying to give everybody a bit of options. Um, recently we've launched a new website along with that we've put on a custom build option so all of this now you'll be able to choose what I think I, uh, I've seen one you did for our back oh, 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 yeah. the plate was very yeah, clever yeah. very clever really. yeah well we do offer, we do offer that so if people wanted to buy you know there is a minimum order quantity but have yeah. the name for on it um, like I say we did it right now but, uh, but now on the website as well you could buy you can choose each colour whether you want one, two, plate, what colour carabiner, just to try and give people some customisable. I've seen uh, you've got a t-shirt design yes. as well, yeah. it's very smart. Yeah, well it's actually Derbyshire wide, and it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, yeah, we've worked with uh, artists from America, so we've, we've had stickers done as well. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, well thanks very much for speaking to me, Darrell, yeah, and uh, I'll see you around at the next school, no doubt. Well Thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. Hello, I'm here at HMH. This is John, he actually owns the company. He's come all the way from America and he's going to tell us about his latest product. John, over to you. Thank you. Wonderful to see you. Come on over. You know, our latest product is actually what we refer to as the TRV vice. This is a true rotary vice. Uh, HMH has come out with this in the past three years. HMH is a company in the States that's been building vices for 45 years. So uh, we make various different ones. We're tying two flies, we're tying regular flies. But this one is great. As you can see, it's got an offset jaw. Um, similar to law vice. Very similar. It was inspired by the law vice. Yeah. And it is something that has been very popular over the past three years. Um, so we're bringing it over. Uh, having more influence, having I, more... Uh, I picked up the base earlier actually and it is a weighty piece of kit and it, I like that. It is actually made out of bell bronze, the right. same bronze that they oh, you know, okay. cast church bells from. Yeah. It's from a foundry that does the church bells and actually you know you can sort of hear a bell to yeah, it when yeah. you hit it. But uh, it's very weighty, very stable vice for your flies. It will tie from size 2 up down to size 20 flies. Um, but my eyes won't tie down to that. No, no I'm afraid <laughs> The eyes are getting weaker and weaker. Big magnifiers now. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'll have to get my kids out with the brasso every morning to give that a clean. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. It does show fingerprints, but it polishes it. Yeah. Up it's, it's a lovely looking thing. And I've, uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to walk around the show, John, but there's a lot of them are now taking this sort of influence from the law vice, the various vices. And, uh, Definitely 
giant true rotary is uh, becoming more and more popular. Yeah. And obviously, we all came out with it, you know, way back when. Yeah. Um, like uh, 2000. Uh, I don't know really that history, um, but it was something you know I tried on the law base for about six months, and then was these are great features that it has. These are some features that I'd like to improve upon, yeah. make it more convenient for my tying style, and with my tying style, you know, hopefully it's you know more convenient for other tires. Well, H and H has got a great name in the UK. I'm just, well, I'm sure you know that. I was. I, you've come all the way from America to. Yeah. To um, represent them. Um, so, from an engineering perspective, how difficult is it to to come up with this sort of thing? Well, I guess I, it, it comes naturally to me. I've designed various components right. from over uh, 45 years. Over well, over 30 years right. yeah. since I uh, graduated from university, and uh, I've designed everything from parts inside uh, submarines to designing parts that uh, fire brigades use to uh, attack fires. So. Uh, I've got a great deal of knowledge, but I've been fly fishing since I was seven years old. Yeah. So instead of inventing products for other companies um, in other industries that I don't have a passion for, it's now you know so doing something you love. So doing something I love. Uh, you can't beat that, can you? That's the way to go. No, absolutely. So, John, I really appreciate that. That's wonderful. Uh, thank you very much for talking to me. You're very welcome. If anybody has any questions, want to see more about the HMH products, certainly our uh, website is hmhvices.com. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, John. Hello, I'm here with Tom Hunt. This is the man behind Hunt's original products. Many of you will know the products. I use them quite a lot. We, I use it. I love the dust. It just dries out your flies completely. One application, you get three or four more shots with it. Superb stuff. Tom's going to tell us where he is. He started off in 2014, and then we're now in 2020. So, what's up, Tom? Well, yeah, uh, thanks very much. Anyway, uh, we continue to support with the products. Uh, well, it's easy when something works. Yeah, it's easy well, to support it. You know, we like to think it does. Yeah. Uh, originally, we started off, like you said, in 2014. We just had the two products, which was the, the original floater and the mud. Yeah. Since then, we've gradually introduced more, more products, and now we've got uh, our fan eight products all together now. Yeah, and they're all on the website, aren't they? They're all on the website, yeah, hubsoriginal.co.uk. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at now. We are developing something new, which is a little bit top secret. All now. right. So, we'll see what happens. Will you tell me after? I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. So, that's where we are. Um, yeah, we've now entered into the European and US market. Which oh, is fantastic! Great, yeah. Obviously. Well, the American market's a huge thing, isn't it? Yeah. If you track that, you, you're certainly sailing. Yeah. But um, as I said before, I mean, I said thanks for continued support. It's easy, mate, because there is nothing better. And, and, and I like to, I like to think I use the best of stuff. And um, even the mud, it's, you know, I've got, I've got tubs of mud that I bought. I don't know, three years ago, and it's just exactly as it was the day I bought it. Whereas a lot of the other stuff, I've used everything else, and it's, you go at, at you, you know, you stash your kit in the winter, it goes in the garage, and then in the summer you come out, you need to go and buy some new mud. Well, you don't have to do that with the Hunt's original stuff. It is as good as it was the day you bought it. So, yeah, thanks for producing a great product. Oh, right. uh, yeah, thanks for the support. That was yeah. the aim when we first brought out the company, you know, yeah. like yourself, I bought Deep greases and what have you. You go back to your kit next season and it's dried out. It's wasted, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, obviously I wanted to try and develop something that didn't, or succeeded in that. And yeah. Everyone else seems to think we succeeded in that. And, and the powder that you used, the, the dry fly powder, why is that so effective? And again, I've, I've used everything, but that seems to really um, do such a good job on the dry. From the research we've done, we've done a lot. I've got a guy called Martin Pickle works alongside me. Right. He's my science guy. Okay. So he's uh, he's the brain. <laughs> You're just the beautiful face of the product. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you have to ask my wife about it. Um, but yeah, we, we analyse a lot of different powders and believe me, there's a lot. Yeah. You know, everyone has had a powder in the basically. Yeah. But there's that many. You can buy it in big tubs on eBay. You can. But what it stems down to is particle size. Yeah. And we analyse. 
size and analysed as that one that we thought stuck to the fly a lot better. Yeah. And the particle size was different to let's say other brands. Yeah, and you've just nailed that yeah. and on testing bits of water flies a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah, it's an impressive thing, there's no doubt about it, and uh, I'll continue to, to buy it and use it. I really like it. Well, thanks very much for speaking to me, Tom. very much, Lindsay. Excellent. All the best for the new season. And you, Paul. from Hilditch Wood Design. This is uh, the uh, fly dresser's dresser. Um, all my work is uh, made to measure and made to order. Um, it's specifically designed for fly, fly tires, fly fishermen. It's basically a storage unit for all the fly tie materials, but it also enables you to be organized and um, actually tie, so it's a functional desk as well. Um, this is a premium oak one. Uh, this is the top of the range. Uh, the base the base unit is self-explanatory. All the drawers are full extension, and they're also soft closed. The top section is made up of a load of various drawer, drawers and drawer sizes. Again, this is for storage for all your fly tie material. Um, as I said before, everything I do is made to order, so I can adapt it and make to what your requirements are basically in your budgets. Um, I, I work in various woods as well, but primarily it's European oak, um, which is French oak, comes from the Dijon area. Um, I buy it in, in what they call the bull form, uh, so everything I do, I prepare the wood, square it up, plane it up, so everything's made to scratch, from scratch. Um, and that's it in a nutshell, really. If anyone's interested, uh, you can visit my website, hildishwoodesign.co.uk, um, email me, um, or indeed do it the old-fashioned way and give me a wee call. All right, guys, cheers. Hello, I'm here with Alan Hill. He's just started a company called the Barbless Hook Company. He's got a couple of quite unique products and I just wanted to give him the opportunity to show you what he's got. So Alan, over to you. How are you doing? Good to, Good to see you again. Well. Good to see you. Yes, a couple of the products we've brought into uh, our company is this new wading stick. Um, it's a solid wading stick. Um, we've used a lot of ultra-modern materials to design it, but probably its biggest selling point is the new GoPro mount that yeah, we've yeah. got on the top. It's a standard mount that fits all camera equipment, and for today's modern angler, a lot of people like to record their catch, yeah. have a look at their casting. Better than chopping them, eh? It certainly is, yeah. And it's nice to get a photograph before you put the fish back. Yeah, well, I'm a big fan of the um, photography side of the fishing. Is, yeah. you know, I do a lot of yeah. vlogging and stuff, so that kind of thing <laughs> is quite a good idea. It really appeals to me. It's actually been very popular. We sold quite a few of these yesterday, and that was the selling point. Yeah, and, and stability-wise in the river? Yes, solid? it's an excellent. We've actually designed this so that we've actually got a glass resin spike on the bottom. Okay. Okay. which is very silent in the water, it won't bang about and disturb right. the fish. That uh, was my complaint with some of the other stuff yeah. that you can get, yeah. the noise it makes on the river. Bed. That's right, and this here is fully interchangeable. If you ever had a problem or you wanted to go to something else, it's the standard fitment that we have at the bottom of the, the wading stick. But these, in the testing in the last four years, we just can't break them or wear them out. They're very, very durable. Perfect. And the, the inside of the stick here is, uh, has about eight inches of lead bottom of right, it to weigh it down yeah, 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 when you're wading. It's also fitted with an, a lanyard which you can use for security around your wading belt yeah. or you can extend to put around your shoulder. And again, you can fully adjust this yourself. This, if the bungee cord is too big, too small, you can yes. extend this, uh, make it I a bit shorter to fit. Yeah, to fit your needs. Looks great. Yeah, it's a good. It's been a good seller for us. Good product. Excellent. Yeah, sit it there. So, what else have we got? Well. This actually reviewed in the, the Trout and Salmon this month, in the oh, February okay. edition of the Trout and Salmon. Uh, this is our new way net. Um, again, more and more people are going catch and release. Hence yep. the reason we yep. started this up with the Babble Soup Company. And along the lines of our basic river net, we've designed um, a river way net. 
Uh, we've incorporated a stainless steel spring into the handle and we've modified it a little bit in that we've made with the plastic injection molding we've made this handle yeah. very pleasing in the hand and unlike similar products you don't have to unscrew the cap when you pull it out, straight, into it's straight in you can weigh the fish, this actually weighs all the way down to 10 pounds in weight. That's not a problem for me. No, I know. I know. One thing we like to call these, I call these, I don't call these spring weights, I call these lie detectors. So that's <laughs> How accurate are the scales? We've had the scales made by one of the leading spring makers in the UK who actually make for uh, the industry, set the industry standard on the spring. Yeah. Um, they actually designed the spring for us. It is stainless steel, so we've no problems with yeah. corrosion. And they say that they're guaranteeing this spring for a 10 year period at a plus or minus 2%. Wow, that's so amazing. So for us, they've actually come up. Yeah, I suppose t it's still a new product, so time will tell on yeah, that one. Yeah, it is, yeah. They designed the um, actual the, the calibration for us as well yeah. uh, and got it all right. And we have tested it, we've had different. Yeah. And, the and it's really accurate. Super. Uh, yeah, it's a very good. Look, product. I like the shape actually. One thing we've done with this, one reason I got into making nets was the fact that I bought a couple of nets. As you know, I do a lot of river fishing. Yeah. I'm a big guy. A couple of times I've actually broken them, sitting down to have a sandwich yeah, yeah. and I've gone to bend them back into shape and they've actually they broken, snap. they've snapped. These are made from solid aluminium yeah. okay, and with the design of the cut that we have on the aluminium, which are done in engineers in Scotland, um, these are incredibly light. This weigh net, which incorporates a stainless steel spring and everything we've made, still weighs only 470 grams yeah. and if you take it without the spring, uh, without the weighing it, it weighs 370 grams. And you've got a product that's incredibly light but incredibly strong. Yeah. Um, the net bags, exactly. we've gone to Daiwa. Daiwa, in my opinion, made this. They make, yeah, they're knotless yeah. nets and they're shaped dry. So you don't have the smell, Perfect. you know. Um, and again, very, very good for the fish. Brilliant. Yeah, look after the fish. So. But this is true, we sold a lot of these nets yesterday. Yeah, I can imagine when, they're very popular. Yeah, when people see them, they like them. So. It's been good. It's been a Excellent. Good, a good well, I'm glad we've got off to a great start. I know it's, it's a relatively new company. Yeah. If you've not uh, seen them online, it's worth checking out. Thanks very much, Alan. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, man. With John Tyzak from Fish On Productions, he's going to tell us a little bit about his uh, business. He started over 12 years ago, John, I believe. That's right. Yeah. Originally, it was um, the concept was to uh, create some instructional fly fishing yeah. DVDs. And I own a few of them myself, actually. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad that. Yeah, it gives a bit of business yeah, yeah. Yeah. even you. Um, <laughs> and there was four of us at the time. And yeah. So I played the teacher. Dean Andrews, the television actor, played yeah, yeah, the pupil. Yeah. And uh, the other two guys, another John and another Dean, they were the cameraman. And, and we made six um, DVDs in the River Academy series. Yeah. We went on to make some fly tying DVDs, and they've sold really, really well. But they're getting, you know, dated now. Yeah, yeah. Dated. like us. It, it, all the techniques and all the flies are yeah. still relevant, still work. But you know, most people are going to buy one aboard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so about maybe seven, eight years ago, we decided together that we would expand. And instead of just doing the DVDs, we'd, we'd sell all the materials okay. that yes. we used to tie the flies that are on the DVDs. Yeah. So now you can see it's all Fish On Productions 2020 is more about yeah. fly tying materials. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously the French leaders. Yeah, we make our own leaders indicators. Yeah. Um, we do some really, really top quality CDC, floatants, got all the hooks and beads. The philosophy of the company now is we only sell what we use ourselves. Yeah, and that's a good philosophy to be hard. It's a massively powerful selling tool because Andy and I are both former IFFA um, champions of the UK. Yeah. You know, in river fishing. So if we say And one of them European caps to boot. Well Andy's done uh, several Europeans, you know, several rivers. I've done World European Commonwealth. Andy's coming out to his first Commonwealth this year. Yeah. It's quite a lot of experience there. And uh, yeah. so hopefully the stuff that we use is the stuff that's gonna work. And therefore like I said it's quite a powerful selling tool. Absolutely it's reassuring when the person giving you the stuff is using the stuff, isn't it? That's it, yeah. I mean, yeah. we don't. There's nothing here that I don't fish with or tie with. Yeah. Well, that, you, that's it's a great endorsement, isn't it? Thank you. Thanks very much, John. Very well. Really appreciate you taking the time to speak to me. No problem at all. Cheers, buddy. Take care.